Hi everyone, welcome to Water Goddess Tarot. So today we are looking into your first impression on your future spouse. For the same, we have three images, three options to choose from. I'll show you the close-ups as well. This is pile number one. This is pile number two. And this is pile number three. You can pause the video, take your time and choose the image that you feel drawn to the most intuitively. Meanwhile, let's just begin with pile number one. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. So let's just figure out what will be your first impression on your future spouse. For the same, we have the devil upright, the empress upright, use your hands, Compassion and empathy, confidence, keep your life in balance, you will be shown the way, good advice from a wise person. And here we have in need of help, assistance and guidance. Okay. Now, when it comes to your first impression on your future spouse, I mean, they are going to be insanely attracted and intimidated at the same time. Because, you know, you are that person who is very different on the outside. And on the inside, I mean, you're a very soft person. You're a very giving person. You might have a straight face to you or you might not be very friendly when you're meeting somebody for the first time, okay? Because there are very high chances that whenever this person is going to meet you, you might be fuming at that point of time or you might be really upset or angry over something, okay? You are not going to be at your best behavior best behavior in the sense there is going to be a lot of fire to you either you will be upset or angry about something or you will be in the middle of a fight with somebody a verbal spat is what i feel because your first impression on your future spouse is going to be like this is somebody who is full of fire this is someone who is very, very spicy. They're very short-tempered, okay? And there's something about the way you look. It's very sultry, okay? You are very, very, very attractive. And this will be your first impression on your future spouse that they will be in awe of how hot you look when you're upset or when you're angry, okay? There's something about your eyes that's going to be very captivating for this person. I genuinely do see you being highly upset. I don't know why. But then there is this, you know, there is this energy to you, okay? Where you seem to be very otherworldly, where there is that, you know, dark feminine energy to you. There is that divine feminine energy and there's that dark feminine energy also to you, regardless of your gender. And you are going to be a blend of both for this person in the first meeting itself. Because I do feel that once they are going to see your dark side, simultaneously they will be experiencing your most divine side as well. This person is going to be in awe of your beauty. I mean, I'm just hearing this one sentence that I'm sold. I'm sold for pile number one. So your future spouse is probably going to fall for you in an instant. This is actually giving me that vibes of, you know, love at first sight kind of vibes I'm getting from your reading pile number one. Because the moment this person is going to lay their eyes on you, they'll be like, this is my person. This is my person. This person is so passionate. They are so, so, 
so damn full of fire they're so ambitious they're so out there they're so action oriented and at the same time they're so submissive they're so sweet they are such a sweetheart look at their soul look at their inner beauty they are so soft i mean they look so hot and they are i mean you are that perfect package for this person where they're going to feel that you are not just beautiful on the outside but you are equally beautiful handsome on the inside as well there is something very likable about you okay you're very very likable again if i'm using the word beautiful it doesn't necessarily mean that i am reading this for a specific gender okay i'm reading for everyone because probably your future spouse is going to find you to be somebody who is very 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 beautiful in all possible ways you are going to be their number one person in the first go itself this person is going to know that you know i have found my partner this is the person that i want to get married to they are going to have this surety in the first meeting itself because whosoever you are pile number 1 to your person you are going to be that perfect husband or a wife material there's something very balanced to your energies where you can be masculine when the need be and you can be feminine when the need be and this is going to be very much visible in that first impression that this person is going to have of you again there's something very motherly very healing about your hands so probably you are that person who has either very healing hands or you have very soft hands or your hands are always you know if you are somebody who's into nail paints and all manicures and all it's always done or otherwise too you are someone who has very i would say i'm getting that sense of my hands are really warm at this point of time so probably you are someone whose hands are really warm or when you will be meeting your future spouse your fingers are going to be intertwined i don't know but then there's something about the warmth of your hands that this person is going to feel and again your touch is something that is going to that is going to melt this person okay your future spouse is going to understand and realize that you are somebody who's very soft no matter what you project on the outside but you are again i'm getting this word sweetheart i don't know if this person is going to use this word a lot when it comes to you this is how they are going to address you but you genuinely are a very sweet soul you are a very pure hearted person and your pure vibes are going to be felt by this person okay they are going to look at you in a way where they will feel that you are that person who is very warm who is very caring very motherly very nurturing you're very helpful no matter what's happening around you you are always there when somebody needs you so you are not a very self centered person according to your future spouse okay we are reading from their perspective so according to your future spouse you're not somebody who's very self centered or if you are angry or just going to think about yourself they will observe this about you that you know even when you are not in the best of you know your emotions then to you are always ready to be that leader you're always ready to bring everyone together you're always ready to help people to be you know that person who is actually kind not just for name sake but in reality as well so they are going to love this fact about you that you are extremely kind very gentle very very forgiving and you will kind of leave a mark on your future spouse where they are going to feel that you have a very big heart and your heart has a lot of space for a lot of love 
not just for humans but also for animals for everything and everyone because probably you are a very diy kind of a person okay so you're very very creative you're very good at mixing things mix mix and match be it costumes be it the interiors of your room or you know just i mean you are someone who's very high on visualization your imagination is something that is very 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 up there it's just up there okay it's unmatchable so there is this imaginative quality to you you're very very dreamy and this person is going to love that dreaminess this person is going to love your dedication they are going to take you as somebody who's very determined who is very dedicated who's very very focused who loves what they do for a living and someone who knows how to fix broken things or people now this doesn't mean that your future spouse is looking for somebody to fix them no i don't think so it's just that they are going to fall in love with your empathy because you are that kind of a person that you are going to find beauty in even a leaf you are that kind of a person there is so much of a warmth to you pile number 1 i can sense your energies at this point of time you're a very warm and a very soulful person there is a lot of there's a lot of cuddly energy to you where your future spouse would want to be in that close proximity with you they would want to have that physical touch the moment they are going to lay their eyes on you not because of lust but simply because of how how comfortable you feel you are a very comfort giving kind of a person very comforting your aura is very very comforting you might have often observed that people come to you with their problems and they just tell you anything and everything in detail and probably that is because of how welcoming your aura is how open and receptive you are you're going to feel like home to this person in the first meeting itself for many of you your future spouse is going to be reminded of their mother when they're going to look at you the first time when your future spouse is going to interact with you the first time around they will understand that however you carry yourself it has to do with your past it has a lot to do with your past because you know whenever you both are going to cross paths with each other you will be in a position where you are going to be very very confident you're not going to be a damsel in distress or you're not going to be somebody who is not able to deal with a particular situation you are rather going to be in your power i see you being in your masculine power i see you being in that in that authoritative position where you will be commanding attention of everybody that's going to be there in your vicinity and your future spouse is going to notice that your future spouse is going to fall in love with your fire the way you will be very i would say commanding very demanding and i am using my hands a lot so you might as well be using your hands a lot and this is what they're going to notice about you you're going to be very caricaturish so even if you're getting angry or you are you know lashing out at someone there are going to be a lot of hand movements okay probably maybe that is how you talk i don't know but i just realized that i'm using my hands a lot and we have got hands twice in your reading so this probably is a strong synchronicity that's there to your reading 
and the way you move your hands or the way you're going to move your hands whenever you're going to interact with this person i don't know if you've already met this person you would be knowing it better but this person your future spouse they are going to love how expressive you are how convincing you are there are also chances that you might provide a helping hand to your future spouse you are that person who's going to either save your future spouse or help them out in some way provide them with your hand literally to cross a puddle or whatever for that matter i mean there's something that you have that nobody has and this person is going to notice that very very strongly in you your future spouse is going to be in awe of your confidence and they will realize that this confidence is coming from whatever you've been through in your life so they would love to get to know you as well as your back story because the way you're going to present yourself is going to be very very striking for this person you're going to win them over in a whim okay your future spouse is going to be in love with your facial features there's something very innocent and very pure pure is a very strong vibe to you okay this purity you are a very pure soul pile number 1 and the same vibes this person is going to catch on there's something around your eyes your eyes are very very deep and expressive very expressive eyes a baby face regardless of your age because i feel you're going to look younger than your age and this is like going to be throughout your life and your future spouse is going to notice this about you this person is going to love you for the way you look your future spouse is going to fall in love with with your face by number 1 your face is there's a lot of innocence to your face again you know the purity of your soul is going to get reflected on your face so what's on the inside is definitely going to show on the outside and this person is going to feel super lucky to be in your presence and they are going to be very excited is what i'm getting that you know they are going to feel that you are not you're not of this planet or from this planet because there's something very otherworldly to you you are a very rare person and your future spouse is going to question themselves that you know is this person for real do people like this exist even today then they are going to start feeling lucky all of a sudden because as and when they are going to get to know you on a deeper level they will realize that you know this person is just so damn beautiful both i mean on the outside on the inside you are going to be that perfect gift for this person where they are going to feel super lucky to to know you to be in your presence your future spouse is going to understand you and as and when you know the two of you are going to have that conversation as and when you'll get to know each other in a better manner i just feel that they are going to realize that you're a very balanced person i said in the beginning itself that you know you are that person who has a blend of masculine and feminine to you and you know when to use because we all have these masculine and feminine energies to us but you are that person who is a very you you are a very balanced soul you know when to kind of switch up which mode and this is what is going to impress this person you are going to be that light in the darkness whenever your future spouse is going to look at you i mean their face is going to light up there's going to be a bright smile on their face you might even observe that they are going to talk less and they will allow you to speak more because they're going to be very lost in your eyes there's something about your eyes that you know i am getting 
that urge to talk about your eyes again and and you know you're going to make this person feel that there's more to life you're going to give them that motivation that you know i want to explore life further i am super excited for life so maybe when you're going to meet your future spouse they might not be in a very healthy space they might not be so self motivated the way you are going to be but when they will cross paths with you you are going to rub your magic on them and they are going to have this realization that after meeting you they are feeling that energy they are feeling very very motivated for their future to explore what's more to life and they would love to do that with you they want to have you by their side and this is something that this person is going to decide in the first meeting itself you genuinely are somebody who is very very wise again regardless of your age you could be pretty young but you have an old soul and your future spouse is going to have this impression of you that you know this person looks young this person is beautiful both on the inside and on the outside this person has that fire energy to them they're so damn passionate they can put anybody in their place they have that talent and because you are a no bs person you're going to give it back if the need be you're going to give it back and if nobody rubs you the wrong way you are the sweetest person ever and this is how this person is going to see you the first time around or this is how they're going to perceive you okay and i think that this meeting is not going to be short this meeting is going to be pretty long where they are not just going to observe you but they're also going to have certain conversations with you that will allow them to get to know you as a person because only after getting to know you as a person will your future spouse come to this conclusion that you are somebody who has a past and it is because of your past that you are the way you are you were not always this confident you are confident because you went through xyz you are wise because you have been through certain experiences you are so gentle towards others because you have been left out in the cold you are so full of fire because people have taken advantage of your sensitive soul and still you are choosing to shine your light because you are living your purpose because you are doing what you're meant to do in this lifetime and they are going to fall in love with your nurturing qualities there's something that is very nurturing about you and pal number 1 if all your life people have told you that you are very difficult or you're over sensitive it's this sensitivity that this person is going to fall in love with it's your your nurturing side is standing out so strongly in your reading and i am having a bit of itch around my throat center so this person might not be able to express all of this in the first meeting itself but you are going to leave a huge mark on this person for them this is a definite love at first sight and i think there is this conversation that the both of you are going to have throughout the night because i do see you talking to this person till you know till sunrise i don't know i am getting this i'm getting these images where i can see two people talking to each other throughout the night and then they are seeing the sunrise together and it's post sunrise that they're going to sleep or they are going to part ways and stuff like that i don't know how it's going to happen but your future spouse is actually going to have a pretty solid impression of you and as much as they are going to fall in love with your nurturing side they are going to find your aggression your anger your spicy side equally adorable 
this person is going to be in awe of how adorable and cute you look when you are fuming again regardless of your gender so even if you're a man when you are angry you are going to look super cute to this person at least all right so yeah i mean overall this is what i have for you yeah pile number 1 and i hope you liked your reading if you did please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya hi pile number 2 welcome to your reading so let's just figure out what will be your first impression on your future spouse for you we have eight of cups in reverse ten of wands upright create art follow your bliss take a chance on them pay attention to your health you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love money or goals indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly increase in material wealth or spiritual growth okay now pile number 2 when it comes to your first impression probably your future spouse is going to find you to be someone who is very closed off emotionally okay they are a going to be somebody who's very emotionally intelligent they could be into psychology or they do understand human behavior because whenever this person is going to interact with you they are going to pick up on signs they are going to pick up on patterns they are going to pick up on behaviors and that is how they are going to figure out that you are someone who has been hurt in the past you have a closed off heart chakra you have your guards up because you have trust issues okay and some of you might find this reading a bit triggering pile number 2 but you need to understand that this is somebody else's perception of you this might or might not be true okay but then i'm just here to tell you what i can see for you because you know you are going to come across to be someone who's very closed off and it's going to get very difficult for your future spouse to to make you feel comfortable that you are able to speak your truth or you are able to be your true self it's going to take a lot of time for you to lower your guards down and this person is going to realize that okay whenever you're going to meet your future spouse they are going to understand why you are so i would say just very emotionally closed off this is something that i'm getting time and again that they are going to feel that you're not emotionally available you are someone who's not in touch with your emotions because probably you're scared of emotional intimacy and there's lot that you're holding on the inside so again there's a lot of purging that needs to happen is what your future spouse is going to feel when they are going to interact with you i don't know why but i'm getting this message very strongly that whosoever your future spouse is pile number 2 they are either deep into psychology or you know they are very good with they're very good with with reading people because this person is going to find what what is bothering you and they are going to provide you with the benefit of the doubt but i very strongly feel that this person is going to give you your space also they're not going to chase you 
they are going to provide you that space for you to heal for you to take your time for you to just become a better version of yourself because i just feel that you might be very charming as a person but when somebody interacts with you you have a problem in getting close with that person and this is what your future spouse is going to pick up on your future spouse is going to feel that you are somebody who is still not done with your past there is something of your past that will still be present when you will be meeting your future spouse now this could be a past heartbreak this could be your past failed relationships friendships this could be your childhood trauma this could be everything and i mean every experience that you've had that has probably disappointed you on an emotional level because i sense a lot of emotional a lot of heart chakra blockage for you pile number 2 and if this is kind of resonating with you where you know that you have been through a lot of shit and you know you you yourself are agreeing that you have problem with emotional intimacy or you know you keeping your walls down being your true authentic self then you should definitely work towards healing your heart it's very very important not for somebody else not for your future spouse but for your own happiness because there is a bond a relationship that you share with your own self also and you need to nurture that before nurturing somebody else it is very important for you to nurture yourself it is very important for you to find yourself it is very very important for you to form that bond with your inner child you have to be gentle with your inner child because i feel your inner child needs you okay your first impression on your future spouse is going to be around you being a good artist now this could be you being a good painter a good poet a good singer a good writer a good dancer a good sketcher it could be just anything because there is an artist in you okay you are someone who creates art you are someone who's very creative you are someone who's very very romantic also irrespective of the heartbreaks that you have been through irrespective of the blockages that you have around your heart center or emotional intimacy you are still that person who wants that emotional intimacy but you are not in that place to receive that emotional intimacy and this is something that your future spouse is going to realize about you they are going to like the fact that you are very expressive with your art you use art to express yourself could be music also so the way you express is not through open communication i feel but you use artistic ways to tell the other person as to how you feel or what kind of a person you are you could be a man or a woman of few words but again you use those artistic ways to just put yourself out there so you might have some throat chakra blockages also pile number 2 where you have issues in regards to communicating your truth in regards to speaking your truth in regards to expressing your feelings your future spouse is going to find you to be someone who's very nonchalant i mean you are going to be that person in their eyes where they're going to see you to be someone who is just who's just doing whatever they're doing they're doing and they don't know what they're doing you're getting my point i mean this person is going to feel that you are chasing something without knowing what you want out of life so they might also find you to be a bit confusing 
they will understand that you have abandonment issues because maybe somebody left you in the past and you are still not able to get over that or you have this fear that you know people are going to leave me and i will again have to deal with so much of darkness that is why you find it very difficult to be transparent with people because you've still not been able to heal that aspect no you have abandonment issues and this is something that your future spouse is going to pick up on your future spouse is also going to understand that you are a different person on the outside and on the inside there's a lot of darkness and this is not in a very negative sense so please do not get offended by darkness what i'm trying to say over here is that there's a lot of pain that's there there is a lot of unhealed trauma there are a lot of wounds that are still there pile number 2 and this is what your future spouse is going to pick up on because when they're going to look at your face or your eyes your eyes are going to speak volumes of the pain that you're holding back or the pain that you've been through in your life you're giving me those vibes where if somebody is going to give you a warm hug you're going to cry so maybe they i mean do you feel unsafe when you're with people or have you felt this way that you know i don't have people to talk to because there is some kind of pain that you have not processed pile number 2 and this is what your future spouse is going to pick up on they would want to help you out i'm again telling you they would want to help you out but i feel you are going to reject this person you are not going to provide this person with that fair chance and they will not be able to save you and this also might happen because of some divine intervention because the universe will want you to do your work by yourself but your future spouse is going to play an important role in showing you the light in showing you that you know in showing you the way again there are chances you're going to meet this person at that point in your life when you will be going through a lot of darkness when you will be going through a lot of pain when you will be going through some kind of a loss this could be a personal loss this could be any kind of a loss you losing yourself you losing your identity you losing a loved one you losing a romantic partner breaking up with somebody i mean this could be anything this could be a legit loss or an emotional loss of some sort your heart is going to tell you to give this person a chance but probably you'll not be able to do that there are very high chances that you're going to push this person away and your future spouse is going to have this realization of why you are pushing them away i think this person is going to play an important role in you evolving spiritually and you growing as a person how all of it is going to pan out is something that i cannot you know get deep into at this point of time but for some of you you have already met this person for some of you you are yet to meet this person you will be knowing your story better your first impression on this person is going to be i mean ah this person will kind of you know they going to push you in that direction of you becoming a better version because i feel whenever you're going to meet them for the first time you're not going to be in a very good shape physically okay and they are going to make you realize how important it is for you to be physically fit and mentally fit also so your first impression on them is going to be 
around you not taking very good care of your overall health okay but because you are dealing with someone who is very emotionally intelligent they will understand that there is a lack of self love that you have because of which there is so much of chaos in so many areas of your life especially the relationship that you have with your own self and this union is not going to happen pile number 2 unless you're going to work on your self love journey unless you're going to work on your own healing journey unless you're going to become your own home first you have to have to love yourself to love this person your future spouse's first impression of you is going to be around you being very solid when it comes to your wealth when it comes to your career when it comes to your financial stability but again you being immature as a soul you being immature spiritually you being immature because of you running away from facing your own reality i don't know why i feel pile number 2 that you know again i'm saying pile number 2 if at all you are not liking what you're hearing either this is not for you or you have to be accepting enough when you are clicking on a reading because not every reading is going to you know gas you up there are certain readings that are going to give you a reality check also but because i'm reading for so many people if it's not resonating with you please leave it for somebody else all right your future spouse is someone that's very caring and understanding but i think they are also someone i mean they have really high boundaries and they have a lot of self respect a lot of self assurance and they are far ahead in their spiritual journey and that is why they are not going to accept you with the bare minimum or you not having that growth mindset so if you are going to be adamant this person is going to take the energy back for you pile number 2 more than what you know your future spouse's first impression of you is going to be i am getting some really strong messages from your future spouse where they really want to give you certain messages through this reading and they really want you to work on yourself and stop running away from your reality they want you to face your reality so that your union can take place okay so yeah i mean this is what i have for you ya pal number 2 i know it was a bit of tough love to be very very honest but sometimes tough love is important because unless we are going to get tough love we will not be able to bloom in life so it's important might be very harsh at first might not feel nice also but then it's all in your hands it's all in your hands to switch up switch up the energies level up start working towards loving yourself more become a better version of yourself for your own damn self before doing it for anybody else be it your future spouse be it your family your friends whosoever for that matter do it for your own self because you owe yourself the most and once 
you are or will be able to fulfill yourself it's only then that you will be able to suffice anybody else in your life okay so i hope you liked your reading pile number 2 i'm sending you a big warm hug if you liked your reading please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya hi pal number 3 welcome to your reading so let's just figure out what will be your first impression on your future spouse for you we have knight of swords upright the fool upright clean your space fertility and healing you can be your own knight here we have wealth good news honor and respect will come to you vacation and here we have taking a vacation physically or mentally all right now pile number 3 Firstly you're going to meet this person when you will be on a vacation because we are looking into their first impression of you and we've got vacation twice okay now this could go either ways one that you are going to meet this person when you will be on a vacation two this person is going to feel that you are somebody who lives a very lavish life and you are always traveling you are always you know just booking flights and hopping from one place to the other because we've got the card of wealth also and it's just with you pile number 3 that i'm starting from the bottom otherwise with every pile i've started from the top but i don't know i was just feeling very drawn to this vacation bit so if you are someone who hasn't met your person and you are on the lookout for you know your future spouse and you're always wondering where will i meet him where will i meet her the chances of you meeting them when you will be on a vacation are very very high now starting from the top whenever this person is going to meet you okay or they are going to look at you they are going to find you to be someone who is a free spirit you are someone who cannot be tamed you are that kind of a person who lives your life on your terms you have your set of rules you are somebody who is here to break traditions you don't really believe in a lot many i would say a lot many orthodox traditions probably or those norms that have been set by society you believe in breaking all of that and this is what this person is going to realize about you so your first impression is going to be that of you being a rebel you being someone who just listens to your own self you being that person who cannot be tamed who cannot be controlled who just who just lives their life their way and who doesn't like following any rule or order you don't believe in that and your future spouse is going to pick up on this and they're going to find this very exciting i would say because they're not going to be as rebellious as you they're not going to be as you know they're not going to be as courageous as you you are somebody who is fearless and this person is going to find you fearless this person is going to find you to be someone who's a go getter who's an achiever and there is a firecracker okay 
you are like this firecracker so chances of you know this firecracker thing happening when you're going to meet your future spouse are also very very high there might be a lot of firecrackers around you because it's not just one firecracker you can hear there are multiple Whenever you're going to meet your future spouse, pile number three, they are going to find you to be someone who is, again, a rebel with the cause. Okay, you listen to nobody. You are that person who is going to, who can do anything in life. I mean, you are giving me the vibe of, of an achiever of a doer, of somebody who is very, very confident and who knows what they bring to the table. So you're very self-assured, you're very confident, you know what you're doing, you know what you're speaking, okay? And you carry yourself with a lot of grace and at the same time you carry yourself with a lot of respect. Your aura demands respect. and. Anyone is going to think a hundred times before messing up with you. Nobody can mess with you because you are not just going to give it back. You are going to make that particular person realize as to why it was such a bad idea for them to rub you the wrong way. And I mean, do you have a slick mouth pile number three? Because I feel you are a fighter. You do not need, you know, you do not need a weapon to fight. Your tongue is enough. Ah, so much of fire. There's so much of fire to you, pile number three. So much of fire. This person is going to be intimidated, but they are going to understand your value in the first go itself. Let me tell you that you're a high value person. I absolutely loved reading for all the three piles, pile number three, but I'm being very honest with you. When it comes to your pile, you are giving me solid vibes of someone who is a high value person. You have done your work. You have spent a lot many years on healing yourself you know who you are you know what you want out of life you know what you want out of your future spouse you know what you can deliver in your marriage and you are not going to settle for less this is something that this person is going to realize in the first go itself that this person is not going to deal with the bare minimum they need effort they need reciprocity and the firecrackers are not stopping in your reading. This person is going to be very charmed by your confidence. Okay. And in the first go itself, they will have this realization that you are not a queen or a king. You are either an empress or an emperor. And that is the kind of treatment that you deserve, that you desire. They will understand that if you are an empress, you are going to go for an emperor. And if you are an emperor, you're going to go for an empress. You're not going to settle for less. They are going to find you to be very, very independent of you not needing a partner because you are very self-sufficient. You might or would want a partner by your side, but you're not going to die without a life partner. And this is something that this person is going to really like about you. That you know, you're not needy. You're not coming from that space of you wanting somebody to save you. You can very well save yourself. You can even save the other person. You're so capable. Because you have dealt with a lot in your life, yeah, pile number three. So many demons you have slayed. So many difficulties you have faced. 
so many obstacles kind of you've just you know you've smashed and it's after a lot of effort on your end that you've been able to find yourself and now you've reached that stage in your life where you are either going to have all of it or you don't want something that is just mere crumbs and this is what this person is going to realize about you whenever they're going to meet you the first time around they're going to fall in love with your face this face bit was there in pile number 1 also but when it comes to you your face is very soothing to look at okay it's very soothing there is a very i would say calm energy to you okay there's a lot of calmness to your demeanor there's a lot of tranquility to you it's like you're very comfortable in your skin you're very comfortable with what you have there's a there is an aura to you the way you carry yourself you know you are giving me the vibes of someone who actually belongs to a kingdom okay and you're up there you have your throne and you are just there it belongs to you you have a thousand hundred people under you who cater to you who cater to your demands and this is what this person is also going to feel when they are going to interact with you the first time around your future spouse their first impression of you is going to be around them coming to this conclusion that you are high maintenance and they would love to provide for you they're not going to get intimidated by how much you require out of a partner because they will themselves be on the lookout for a high value partner whenever the both of you are going to cross paths so it's going to be a match there this person will observe how beautifully you dress up regardless of your gender you're someone who's very chic very clean very sheen you take care of yourself you take care of your surroundings you make everything look good be it your room be it yourself you're very very groomed you take care of your skin your hair your clothes everything you are going to come across to this person as someone who takes care of themselves yeah this is something that's very evident in your reading pile number 3 and they are going to get inspired by how much you take care of yourself and how much you love yourself and that is why they're going to respect you even more because you respect yourself because you have set certain standards for yourself and if people in your life are not going to meet those standards you're not going to chase them your future spouse the moment they are going to look at you they will dream of making babies together i'll be very honest this person would love to do the deed with you and it's not because they will not be able to control themselves when it comes to their hormones no it's because they will feel that urge that you know i want to make babies with this person i want to grow old with this person i want to have my family with this person i want to build something with this person and they might even go in that trance of how beautiful your kids are going to be because in the eyes of your future spouse you are nothing but an empress even though we do not have the empress here but you are giving me empress emperor vibes pile number 3 where this person feels that you are someone who is very very good looking very beautiful and there's something about your aura that is very healing and they really want to get intimate with you because they know it's not just going to be physical but it's going to be a spiritual exchange with you 
because they are going to feel that spiritual pull towards you they are going to get those vibes from you that are going to be very healing for them and this is something that is going to give them that click that you know what this is the one for me i want to be with this person your first impression on your future spouse is i mean they are they are going to look at you and they are going to understand that you are you know you're just well off you can very well take care of yourself you're not just independent you're not just financially independent but you also have financial freedom to you you have a good amount of savings to you you have certain investments to you 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 are very wealthy you belong to a good family it doesn't really matter if you have generational wealth to you or no they are going to look at you you know they are going to put you on that pedestal where they are not going to feel that you know you are above them but they are going to put you on a pedestal as compared to the other people around them where they are going to look at you in a way and they are going to feel that you know this person has the ability to generate wealth for the future generations they are going to find you that capable okay there's something about the way you dress up ya pal number 3 there's something about the way you dress up and the way you carry yourself the way you take care of your physical body especially okay it's coming out very strongly in your reading and if you are someone who does your makeup or who likes to do makeup this person is going to fall in love with how how you do your makeup or how you look after makeup it's not that they are not going to love you without makeup but makeup is also art to be very honest and the way you're going to beautify yourself is something that is going to make this person feel awestruck for your future spouse you are going to feel very lucky so this person is going to get that impression that you know what pile number 3 is that one person who is very lucky and if they are into astrology or they have some knowledge they are going to find you to be very venusian they are going to understand that you have a very strong venus and i am here to tell you pile number 3 you have a very strong venus okay you do have a very very strong venus and it's just going to get better with time and this is also something that this person is going to realize because you are exuding very luxurious vibes very expensive vibes and this is how this person is going to see you the first time around very expensive not just a regular person kind of a celebrity probably you're giving me celebrity vibes i don't know if you're one i don't know if you're going to be one but you definitely have the potential to be known to have that fame to you to have that wealth to you to just you know be there in the spotlight not just for your looks but also for what you do for a living okay you are someone who i mean you respect yourself so much by number 3 that anybody who's going to enter into your life is not going to have any other option except for matching your energies and this is what this person is going to realize about you they will from the go itself understand that you have standards and if they want to be with you they have to match those standards and they are going to match your standards to be very very honest this is such a beautiful pile ya pile number 3 i'm in love with your energies lovely energies coming from you and from your future spouse as well okay and yeah lastly it's just the vacation bit this person is going to feel that you are not exactly a spendthrift but you have a very comfortable life if you're working very hard you are that kind of a person who's going to pamper yourself because your self love game is strong because you know how to make yourself feel good and your first impression on them is that you love to travel you love to give yourself regular breaks you love to explore different cities different countries you like to just you like to be comfortable comfort and luxury is something that that 
that you wear like it's your second skin to be very honest oof very strong personality pile number 3 you are and genuinely just pure celebrity vibes pure celebrity vibes from you you are nothing but good news you're nothing but good luck there's also something about how good of a listener you are your future spouse is going to love this about you also your humility you are going to have the best of everything in your life but you are going to be equally humble about it you're not going to be pompous you're not going to be someone who is a show off who is a spoiled brat no you're going to be very generous you're going to be very charitable you're going to be very you're going to be very i would say gracious about how you look about how much money you have about your status you're going to be very grateful and probably that will be because of the work that you've done on yourself because of how far you've come in your journey because of how everything you have built for yourself it's not something that was presented to you from the time you just came into existence you have worked hard you've earned it and this is what your future spouse is going to realize about you so their first impression of you is very very solid okay yes might be a bit intimidating initially but then i think this person is also looking for their match and you are their match because the both of you are looking for very similar things in life and your way of living is also going to be very similar so you are giving me power couple vibes okay you are again there's a plane overhead so it is very much in sync with vacation it is very much in sync with you meeting this person when you will be traveling somewhere okay and again this could be a long distance thing also that you know you might meet this person when you will be vacationing and then you will be coming back to your city this person will be going back to their city and then maybe you'll start you know dating each other and stuff like that probably this might happen it's a channeled message that i got for you but then yeah i mean there is a legacy that the both of you are going to leave behind and this person is really going to look forward to building things with you whenever they are going to meet you for the first time they might not you know realize that you know this is the person that i want to get married to in the first go itself but they would want to because you will be pushing this person a bit outside of their comfort zone they are they are your match no doubt about that but it's not very easy for people in general to handle somebody who's a very strong personality and you have that personality but this person has that too okay this person has that too they want everything that you have i mean they want those qualities in their partner because they are not looking for anybody whom they have to save or whom you know they can just they can they can dominate probably i mean this person is looking for someone that they can build with that they can create with that they can you know just they can this person is very goal oriented and so are you you both are very much focused on how you can maximize something that is your vision you both are visionaries you both want big things in life and for one partner to have that big things in life it is important to have the same kind of a vision because then the energy is just, it's it just multiplies right if you have a partner who is always very you know in that zone of this is not possible this is something that's very unrealistic do not dream too big and stuff like that you cannot achieve anything with that person because there is so much of difference in that you know in the way you both look at life 
I'm not saying that two opposite people cannot be together. But then coming back to your reading, your future spouse is going to match your standards is what I want you to know. And they are going to love the fact that you have standards, that you have high standards and you're not going to settle for less. And this person will prove themselves to you for sure. All right. And one more thing before I end your reading, this person is also going to love your hair, your silhouette. Okay, there's something about your physique. This person is going to love how you look from behind. Okay, again, I'm going to tell you out of all the three piles, you are the most attractive, especially when it comes to physical beauty. Okay, very, very attractive. As I've said a hundred times, I would like to add one more time. You are a celebrity. Okay, you're giving me celebrity vibes and you're going to look, you're going to look very mesmerizing, very handsome, very, very good looking. Pile number three, you're very good looking. And this person is, I mean, uh, anyway, I, uh, I don't know. You are leaving me speechless. And probably this is how your future spouse is going to behave with you when they're going to interact with you the first time around. All right. So yeah, that's about it here, pile number three. This is what I have for you. And this is where I'd like to end your reading. If you liked your reading, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so that whenever I post next, you get notified. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do that via Instagram and email. The details for both is in my description box below. I'll catch up with you in the next reading. See ya.